टूडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट एडेमा कॉज्ड बाय डिक्रीज प्लाज्मा प्रोटीन्स और हाउ लो लेवल ऑफ प्लाज्मा प्रोटीन्स लीड्स टू एडेमा फॉर्मेशन एज वी हैव बीन डिस्कसिंग एडेमा एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अलॉट ऑफ कॉजेज ऑफ एडेमा नाउ अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट कॉज इज प्रोटीन्स बेसिकली प्रोटीन्स इन द प्लाज्मा दे हेल्प्स अगेंस्ट डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ एडेमा एंड इफ द लेवल ऑफ लेवल ऑफ प्रोटीन्स डिक्रीज इन प्लाज्मा इट प्रीडिस्पोज टू डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ एडेमा नाउ देर आर टू मेन two main important causes of low plasma proteins one is the decreased formation of proteins especially in cirrhosis this is liver if the liver functions decreases due to cirrhosis in which the fibrous tissues uh, occur in the liver and the parenchyma of the liver is destroyed so the the protein formation decreases and the level of plasma protein decreases or uh, the protein levels in plasma decreases another important cause is any condition which leads to increased loss of proteins in urine so any condition which affects the kidneys or which damage the glomeruli and the filtration of proteins increases normally inside the kidney if we see the in the nephron blood comes the plasma is filtered the waste material goes out in the form of urine and the remaining substances are absorbed if there is a damage uh, if there is a damage in the kidney then proteins also get filtered in different conditions like minimal change disease is one condition in which a lot of proteins are lost so there are a lot of uh, conditions a lot of uh, factors a lot of diseases which can decrease the plasma protein levels but minimal change disease or kidney disease and cirrhosis are two important conditions which normally uh, leads to edema formation due to pl- decreased plasma proteins now if we uh, summarize and revise the causes of edema we discussed that the causes of extracellular edema can be classified into four broad categories we discussed the increased capillary pressure and we discussed the different uh, conditions like excessive salt and water retention by the kidneys heart failure etc now another important cause of edema is the decreased plasma proteins so decreased plasma proteins is most commonly due to loss of proteins in the urine as in nephrotic syndrome which mostly is due to minimal change disease and another important thing is failure to produce proteins as in liver disease so these are important conditions now burns are also common and loss of um, proteins from skin in burns is common but these are the diseases the nephrotic syndrome and the liver failure in uh, especially in cirrhosis which leads to either loss of proteins in the urine or failure of pro- uh, failure to produce proteins so they lead to decreased plasma proteins and decreased plasma proteins then leads to edema then how decreased plasma leads to edema that is something which we discussed previously in our last few lectures that there are four main factors four main forces at the level of capillaries which play their role in preventing an occurrence of edema now the capillary hydrostatic pressure basically tries to push the fluid outside the plasma colloid osmotic pressure basically tries to pull the fluid in we discussed this thing again and again in previous lectures now we will summarize it again that the plasma colloid osmotic pressure is due to proteins inside the plasma this is a capillary fluid is going out and is coming in if there is a balance between these four forces any disturbance in these forces will lead to edema so plasma colloid osmotic pressure which basically is pulling the fluid into the capillary lumen this is the capillary this is the interstitium and this is the equation which basically determines or which basically determines the filtration process and um, with the help of these uh, this equation we can calculate we can calculate that how much uh, filtration will occur at the capillary level so if the pl- plasma protein level decreases the plasma colloid osmotic pressure decreases now it is uh, it is very difficult to pull the fluid into the capillaries the capillary hydrostatic pressure the interstitial fluid pressure the interstitial fluid colloid osmotic pressure which is pulling the fluid out they are normal but this pressure basically decreases due to the decreased plasma level of proteins so when the pull factor is removed the fluid tries to remain in the interstitium and the amount is the the protein is the protein levels in the plasma decreases the amount of fluid in the interstitium in the interstitium or the extracellular spaces increases so that's how the decreased plasma level basically leads to edema and the decreased plasma level of proteins are mostly due to loss of proteins in urine loss of proteins from skin and failure to produce proteins especially in liver diseases so that's that's all about the uh, uh, edema that is caused by decreased plasma proteins thanks a lot for watching the video